Hi there team, it's Coach Alexa here and I thought I'd do a bit of a different style of video today to talk you through the anatomy of the feet. So this is the picture of the bottom of your foot. Uh, so this is the underneath of your heel. This is part of the plantar fascia that I was talking about in your arch. Um, and these are your toes. So they start from quite high. They start from the very sort of top of your arch. And this is the, like the ball of your foot area and then your toes. And this is a very simplified uh, diagram, would you believe, of just the ligaments. And these are all cut so that you can sort of see because otherwise they would overlap and you wouldn't be able to see. So there's two um, ligaments above and two down each side of each of the toes that attach around here. There's ligaments that join each of the toe joints together and also ones that stabilise, kind of attach each part of the toe onto each other. And then as you can see here, a huge amount of complexity in between the heel and the arch of your foot as well as underneath it. So I just, I didn't want to go through all of this in, in, in huge great detail, but I did just want to show you um, to demonstrate how complicated and absolutely wonderful our feet are. So if we go into this next diagram, this is a side on view of the inside of your foot. So that is your big toe bone there. Um, ignore all these um, Latin, <laughs> Latin names. You don't need to remember them. I won't be testing you on them. This is the bottom of the um, Achilles tendon. But we can also see a load more different ligaments. So attaching the bones of the lower legs into the top of the foot, how much our heel actually comes back from the top of the foot. Um, and also, again, this side view of a lot of these tendons that start coming out of the foot and will eventually start, um, sorry, tendons and ligaments, um, that start attaching it to the lower leg. So everything here is, is brilliantly connected. And it might be something that I'll cover in my next video, actually, about um, how a lot of what goes on in the lower leg, so what you think of as calf, is actually to do with controlling your feet. So we'll have a little bit of a look at this next one. And this is where we start to layer on the muscle. So this is back onto the underneath of the foot again. So we've got our heel here. This is where we'd start to get to the, um, the beginning of the plantar fascia and some of the muscles. Now, so much complexity and so many layers here is that, again, these bits have been cut away so you can see some of the stuff underneath. So we've got... Um, uh, muscles here that kind of run down either side of the foot underneath these tendons and small muscles are basically flexing our toes so if we were to try and scrunch up our toes these would be the ones that are doing it and just interesting to see that they, they don't actually there are lots of bigger longer tendons and ligaments here um, that then disappear up out the back and up into your calves um, but yeah this is just one layer of musculature just in the bottom of your feet it's um it's pretty awesome, all to do with controlling this balance and, and, and controlling our toes. And then the final thing I wanted to show you was the side of our foot. So this is the outside edge of our foot. Um, and this gives another little bit of a view. So the red bits are muscles. You can see the muscles underneath. The white bits are um, sometimes tendons, sometimes ligament in this, in this um, diagram. So tendons are what attach muscles to bone. Uh, ligaments attach bone to bone. So you've got these Achilles tendon up at the back. You could start to see a lot of these muscles that are controlling the toes are actually attached. Sorry, the tendons that are controlling the toes are actually attached to muscles going up the front and the side of the shin. And then these bits of ligament that are basically holding everything in place, because otherwise, if you contracted this muscle up here, that's going to control a movement down here, it would want to take the shortest line. So it would sort of kind of pop out of the joint. So these are to hold those muscles and tendons in place as they move. Um, and we also, these blue bits are basically... Um, a kind of like an area of what's called bursa, like cushioning pads. So they are where we've got areas of bone or tendon that are right under the skin so that they, if they get bashed or we fall over, we've got these little cushioning pads to stop the tendon and the bone themselves getting as easily damaged. So we've got little bumpers, as it were, on top of them. So all of these things can get irritated, you know, if these muscles are tight and they pull on these tendons. So you might have a tight problem in the calf with a muscle and it might, it, it might, you know, come out somewhere much further down the foot. It might be that these have been tight for very, very long time and it's irritating some of these bursa. It might be the fact that, you know, we've got a ligament really deep under here because something's, uh, you know, that's got inflamed because something's in the wrong place. So it's a huge amount of complexity and a huge amount of different things that are going on. And I just think it's amazing to think about that, you know, all the stuff that our body's doing just as we, as we walk um, and as we run. Just fascinating, isn't it? 
Anyway, I hope that's really, really useful. Um, yeah, uh, it'll be great to hear any questions and I'll maybe go a little bit further up the leg in my next video.